Hey everyone, we have released the beta version of our Rococo live streaming plugin for Unreal Engine 5. Now you can live stream your mocap directly into UE5, and in this video we'll walk through where to find the plugin and how to get it all up and running. Let's get to it! As Unreal 5 is still in early access, we only have the beta version of our plugin available. Although it seems to be running great, it is still very much a work in progress. So please leave any questions or issues you find with the plugin in the comments below, and we'll continue to address them as we get closer to the full release of Unreal Engine 5. First things first, where to find the plugin? It isn't currently available on the Epic Marketplace, so you'll need to navigate to our GitHub page and download it directly from there. You can follow the link on screen or in the description below. So here is our GitHub page. You can also find this just by Googling it. And you can see that we're on the master branch. So this is the stable plugin. And we need to head to the master 5.0EA, Early Access, and this is the Unreal Engine 5 full demo scene. So let's download this. So here's the folder you'll get after you unzip the downloaded project file. So we could open up the whole project, but what we really want is in this plugins folder. This smart suit folder is the Rococo plugin. So I'm going to copy this folder, and then I'm going to add it to a Unreal Engine 5 project that I've already set up with a character. So this project, as you can see, it doesn't have a plugins folder, so I'm just going to create one myself, and then I will copy that smart suit folder into it. So now we have the Rococo plugin in this specific project, and we can open up the project. As you can see, I already have a character set up in this project, and virtually every aspect of the Unreal Engine 5 Rococo plugin is the same as the UE4 plugin. So in general, all the published workflows we have on the channel will work in Unreal Engine 5. However, there are a few little quirks to the plugin while it's still in its beta, and while UE5 is still in the early access. As per our normal workflow, the first thing we would do is add a Rococo receiver to the scene to actually receive our live mocap being broadcast out of Rococo Studio. However, for some reason, the receiver won't appear the first time you search for it in the browser. Instead, you have to actually dock the browser, and then you can search for the Rococo receiver and add it into our scene. Next, we would normally open up LiveLink and turn on the Rococo Studio source. However, in Unreal Engine 5, for some reason, you don't actually see anything appear down in the panel here when you enable the Studio source. Normally, you would see Rococo Actor or Rococo Actor Face down in the panel here to let you know that you're broadcasting correctly. However, if we hit play, you can see that they do now appear in the LiveLink panel. So for now, if you don't actually see your actors appearing in this panel, don't worry, they will be enabled when you actually hit play. Finally, because the actors don't show up until you hit play, you have to manually add in the actor face designation when you are receiving live facial mocap. So normally, again, you would be able to select your metahuman. This is a metahuman head that I have here. So I would select it, and then I would choose the facial mocap from this drop-down menu. However, again, this does not appear unless you are actually in play mode. So we have to add in this designation manually, which will be actor, colon, your actor profile name, in this case, Sam for me, and then colon and then face. And again, that actor profile name is just going to be the actor profile that you are using in Rococo Studio. So now that we've done everything, if we hit play, you can see that everything is coming through as it normally would and our mocap is up and running. Again, besides these quirks that I've mentioned, everything about the plugin is the same as the Unreal Engine 4 version. So you can refer to all of the UE4 tutorials on our channel if you want to get this entire workflow running up from scratch. 
So we hope this video was helpful. And again, please keep in mind that this is a beta and there may be more issues that you run into while using UE5. To be completely safe, if you're working on a big project or something, we recommend using the stable Unreal Engine 4 workflows and version of the plugin until we get closer to a final build of Unreal Engine 5. At that point, we'll have something officially published on the Epic Marketplace that you'll be able to download like a normal plugin. Thanks everyone, and stay tuned for more Unreal Engine 5 content coming soon. See ya.